Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel again. Today I uh, would like to show about how to create simple program uh, for test with the I/O module. Okay. In the previous video, we already learned about the connection, how to uh, wiring or connecting the cable from push button start stop to the input module right and uh, I also explain the step by step about how to connect already so today we will learn about uh, how to create the program from the uh, software and then uh, test with the I/O, okay? The input module, model uh, seven seventeen forty six underscore I M uh, sixteen for PLC SLC five hundred, okay? So let's start together. So first go to the uh, program first as lineage classic first so I run as administrator yes and then uh, I will connect the COM port that we already learned the in the previous video yes so I will check the COM port Go to the by nature. Okay, right now I connect the COM port. Okay, so we use COM3. Okay, that connected from uh, CPU to our uh, computer. Okay, so let's go to here to check the communication between PLC and uh, computer okay or not okay so click here and then choose the COM3 already and then choose the auto config yes if it show like this it means that we can communication between our computer to uh, PLC okay so let okay and minimize so first go uh, to the RS logic 500 okay yes and then go to the new project project name for example uh, test IO it means that test input and output module okay so uh, in the previous video uh, we choose this one yes this one memory uh, 32 kilo yes Okay, then uh, we will choose the I/O configuration, right? So go to I/O configuration, and then read the I/O config. Okay, this PLC, and then choose who active. Zero one, right? Okay, zero one. And then choose the read I/O config. Okay, the I/O will read automatically from the hardware to uh, our software as logic flow. Okay, so totally it has uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
nine module okay so let's click uh, compile yes for generate the IO so uh, first uh, we connect from the start button to this module right and uh, this module we connect already connect uh, the L1 line to uh, point zero in zero line right in zero so input go to the input here is the input one input two input three input four okay we have four input so let's start insert the run for create the, the program yes click here insert run and then I will choose the I of the input right the input is the nominal nomin, nominal uh, open for start button okay so I will choose the nominal open yeah drop and drop to here okay and then click the input yes and uh, input to uh, number zero right in number zero so I will choose number zero drag and drop to here okay and then uh, command right start button example start button okay then I will choose one more for stop button okay and uh, this one uh, I will choose uh, NC yes nominal uh, close for stop right nominal close for stop or we can also uh, nominal open if we want for this video I will show the nominal open first so nominal nominal open right okay nominal open nominal open it is the basic yes if we want to learn the advanced we must uh, understand the the basic first so uh, I use the NO right for stop also so let's go to here and for example I have the binary yes one binary for coins for start binary go to B okay and then choose this example uh, relay one So when uh, we start, the relay one will hold the signal, right? So uh, I will choose the this one for hold the signal. So this one is the mass relay one, right? Okay. So uh, I will choose the another rank for stop button. 
and o also right nominal open also so uh, yeah and then I go to the input number one right input number one you see connect to this terminal number one here so I go to input and then choose number one drag and drop number one and then choose here and command stop stop button okay and I will choose one binary for uh, go to stop this one so I will choose one coins and binary number one right for stop command example stop command okay and then I will choose the nominal close to stop this right to stop this relay one okay so uh, we must compile to check the program has error or not okay successful complete mean that uh, we don't have error so let's save the program and then choose the desktop slc 500 test io project right okay test io project so right now we uh, are likely at the program so we must download to the cpu i will download first so go to uh, click this button and then choose download okay yes uh, cpu will stop okay if we download Okay, already download so let's online check. Okay, so right now the CPU is uh, remote mode and running. So uh, I will explain the button first. The actual connection, yes. For the actual connection. Yes, uh, right now I already connect uh, the 220 from uh, this breaker, yes, from this breaker to this one, yes, and uh, I will choose one start and one stop of uh, button, you see, in the top is a start button here and this one the red color it means that the stop button okay and i i use the no you see the green is no nominal open and uh, for stop is a uh, nominal open also okay so uh, and uh, from this uh, connection i already connect to this one this one is a start yes start you see it start it start point number zero okay this terminal is a uh, number zero and uh, this terminal is the number one for button stop okay so uh, it's the same as I already explained in the previous video in the PowerPoint file yes so for this one is the natural this cable is a natural also connect from the uh, breaker also okay so this is a natural and this is the line uh, number one okay so uh, let's test when I push the button 
you see I pull button start you see the input module number 0 is turned on you see turn on I push hold it turn on hold and uh, another one when I push the stop button right I push okay the point number one you see the point number one is turned on okay this please release please release please release and the program will show also you see when I please release please release the program will show okay so when I start on so this is a concept of a uh, wiring cable from uh, input module to the push button okay so it's okay right now so I select to run it is the run mode yes freeze again yes so uh, thank you very much for watching my video and uh, in the next video I will show how to uh, connect the output module yes I will explain step by step about the output module also okay so uh, we will see you next video and if you have uh, any question, please comment under my video and uh, I will reply. Okay. And don't forget, like, comment and share my video and uh, subscribe my video also. Okay. So thank you very much again and see you next video. Bye-bye.